Welcome back guys, it's Senuon502 Inc. I'm back and today we are working with strings with Python with Codecademy. So basically what a string literal is, you will hear this term all throughout the course if you do very well continue on this with this language. So a string literal is anything really created by a by literally put in um, quotations it can it can have words it can have numbers it can have pretty much anything really so when you guys hear or see anything that has a string literal just know that it's a normal string um, so here we can assign a variable we can assign a string something Codecademy wants us to assign a string um, called always look on the Right. I should have just copied and pasted this. I that's what I'm going to do right now. So this is a string literal. I can also add numbers. So yeah. And yeah, I knew it. We had to create a variable called Brian. I was wondering. I thought that was pretty weird. Okay, so save and submit. We get the green check mark. We are all good. So numbers step two. What Code Academy wants us to do is to pretty much get used to creating, um, to setting variables equal to strings. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and line two, set the variable Caesar. Make sure you spell it right. Equal to grams. To gram. Set. Pra, pra line. I'm I'm not even gonna attempt to say these words anymore. It's getting pretty embarrassing. Okay, so we have pretty much all of our strings set up, all of our variables set up as well. So what we're printing out is basically the value of each variable that I have just written. We get the green check mark, we are all golden. So step three, what we want to basically do is we want to fix the problem over here. Notice that if you have one string, one quotation mark, you can't just reuse it. This symbolizes the end of whatever you're working with, the end of the string. So it ends right here instead of ending all the way back here. The way that you can fix this, two two ways actually. You could change it like that or you can basically change these two into double quotation marks. Just all depends on your preference. I typically like to have double quotation marks wrapped around them and single quotation marks inside of them. So save and submit. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Give me okay, so Cool Academy doesn't like my way of doing things. This is what Cool Academy wants you to learn how to do. Hold on. They want you to learn to do this instead of the single quotation, single double quotation mark that I typically do. So save and submit, and we get the green check mark. So number four. This will really come in handy when we start working with arrays, but until then, this is somewhat like a sneak peek, a preview, a teaser. Yeah. So what we want to do in then this variable fifth letter is we want to assign we want to get return get the return value of the fifth letter. And so how this can be accomplished is first of all, Cocademy wants us to create a string literal and we want inside the string literal we want to pull the fifth letter now if you guys have not seen my other tutorials what this basically entails is computer programming languages start from zero they don't start from one like normal people it starts from zero one two three so think about this m is zero o is one well n is two T is Y. I mean, T is 3. 4 is H. 
and 5 is y if that makes any sense so we will get the return of y basically when we save and submit so moving on save and submit and hold on no no I did it wrong I did it wrong let's see here no no oh I actually spelled this wrong yeah I, I I thought I I thought something was going fishy so we get the green check mark we are all good we got the return of Y so add like subscribe comment down below please click on every ad in around my videos I get a small cut you guys get some great ads I'm out